All right. Welcome to uh, bracket four of the DC exhibition tournament where we are going to crown a DC champ. And who knows, they may eventually have to, I don't know, uh, defend it. I don't know how we're doing things right now. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm not here always by myself. I like having a co-host. I'm going to go over to Jay. Jay, uh, how are you feeling tonight? Are you excited for the competition and for me not to live stream this on accident? Uh, well, you know, I feel like we've been here before. There's a little bit of deja vu going on, uh, but I will I will uh, approach with the same sentiments that I did the last time. Uh, this seems to be the first bracket that I've helped you preside over that we've actually had a full panel. So uh, the two people from brackets two and three, uh, watch your asses because uh, you got some people coming for you. And I think these guys are a little bit more hungry for it than you. Uh, yeah, I, I'd say that's a very fair warning. And we're going to go ahead and introduce our first competitor. Our first competitor, I just need to give him by this name because it's super sick of a name. And that's Bill Adelphia Cariola. Bill Adelphia, how are you doing tonight? Are you excited for this tournament and trying to truck over these people? I am super excited. And I am also up to my ideal weight if I were 11 feet tall. So. I like that. I like, you know, if, if I was hey. about 15 feet tall, I'd probably be the ideal way too. Just and if anyone like, gets that, we need to be friends. We need to be friends immediately if you can tell me what that's from. <laughs> and, of course, we're going to go to next, Ryan, the quote, Premison. Uh, Ryan, how are you doing tonight? Uh, are you excited for this match? Uh, what do you think your odds are? Are they ever going to be in your favor? Wow, that is a lot of questions. Um, but I'll just say this. Uh, happy to be here. I hope this is a great match. It's good to go up against a fine group of gentlemen such as yourselves. I got my brand new suit, my ridiculously good-looking red jacket and blue shirt, which is from an iconic look that all of you should know. And if you don't, go on Hulu and binge-watch that show. It's called Smallville. It was on the air for 10 glorious years. Look it up, son. It's great. Other than that, I'm happy to be here. Let's have some fun, boys. Uh, small one. That's the, the Smallville. That's about Bugs Bunny, right? Am I, am I misinterpreting? He's literally cosplaying as Archie right now. You're right. That's what it is. Oh man, Smallville, Riverdale, it's the same thing. Going or Fry from night. Futurama, maybe with a oh, red jacket. Oh, Fry, right? Listen, where's Bender? That's JP, the question. Rebel without a car. Uh, maybe, maybe our next no, competitor can tell us where Bender is, and that is Brandon. Uh, big time Dunlap. Uh, Brendan, how are you feeling today? Are you excited for this match? Uh, do you have a cosplay outfit, or are you just at a desk job? Are you playing Clark Kent or not? Where's your glasses? Uh, you know what? Clark Kent way cooler than I am. No, I just got off work, guys. I'm, I'm super stoked for this match, and uh, not sure how I'm going to do, but uh, I love DC, so we'll see where it goes. Absolutely. And our last competitor of the night, uh, someone that I always have a good time when I'm on a screen, uh, when I'm on a stream with, uh, and that is Nick, the name Tuig. Uh, that's right. Please learn how to say his name right, because he will win a belt one of these days. Uh, I'm calling it first. Uh, Nick, how are you? Uh, how are you doing today? Uh, are you excited? I'm doing okay, Doug. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, I cannot promise anyone that it will be this belt if if there is indeed a belt involved in this. Um, yeah, uh, I think anyone rooting for me in this match might be sorely disappointed by the end. So <laughs> stay tuned. Uh, but I plan to have fun. Well, I mean, fun, fun is fun. fun uh, is I mean, fun. yeah, no, I'm down for that. And we're going to go ahead and kick this off. Uh, we are going over to round one, which is 10 questions. Um, if you get all 10 right, there will be a bonus question. You get 15 seconds to answer the question. Uh, they are in all category forms of DC, which are the comics, release dates, uh, DCEU, uh, animated movies, as well as uh, the DC movies themselves. Uh, gonna get my stop. Watch out. Timer. 15 seconds, please. Thank you. All right, uh, we're going to go to the first question. First question, in comics, what DC character takes the mantle of Oracle? Jay, you know what I would like to take the mantle of? Do you know? Dick Grayson. Oh, that is a good, that is a good answer. 
Uh, I would say there's probably about five other characters that I take the mantle of. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. We're going to go over to Philadelphia himself. Bill, what you got? Backer or herself, Barbara Gordon. That is correct. And uh, do, do, do. and we're going over to Ryan. Ryan, what you got? Back girl herself, Barbara Gordon. That is correct. I'm just editing my board here real quick so I can have it in order. Uh, mm, uh, yeah, Nick, what do you got? Sure. Uh, back girl herself, Jimmy Olsen. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, maybe. I mean, he might have cosplayed at one time. Uh, <laughs> Different, different, very different continuity. Uh, Brennan, uh, what do you got there, good sir? It was Alfred's niece, right, Barbara Gordon? Right? No? Um, okay. I, I demand that you leave this tournament right now. We're never <laughs> referring to that. Oh, wait. We might refer to it later down the line. Uh, Jay, go ahead and uh, give them their next question. Your next question, y'all, comes in the realm of release dates. Uh, in the DCEU... Other than Wonder Woman, what movie was released in 2017? You know, I kind of like the uh, I like parts of the DCEU. I think a lot of people like parts of the DCEU. And most of those parts happen to be on Wonder Woman. I'm sorry, in Wonder Woman. I mean, you're not technically wrong. I like I like the lasso, and that seems to be something that she carries. The bracers is where it's at, bro. If I could smack two bracers together and create a sound wave like that, <laughs> and, life would be over. And we're going never five. Have to with another customer at my job. Ever. Four, three, two, one, and we're gonna go to Ryan. Ryan, what do you got? Was it Justice League? That is correct. Uh, Brennan, what do you got? I was off. I played Batman v Superman. That's the year before. Yep. Nick, what do you got? It was Justice League. Correct. And cool. Philadelphia himself. For I the got race. wrong. I said Suicide Squad. Oh, that is a... I forgot. I could have swore Justice League came out a year after Wonder Woman. So. And in DC movies, non-DCEU for you people out there that don't know what the difference is, in Batman Begins... Who was paroled to testify against Carmen Falcone? I don't know, Jay. Would you ever? Would you ever be paroled to testify against somebody like a big mobster like Carmen Falcone? I mean, if I did, uh, I wouldn't do what the goon did in the second movie and have a plastic gun. I'd, yeah, I'd probably American. not. Probably not. I I would say there's probably about there's probably about I would say five different countries that you go to to get. Guns that are better made. Four, three, two, one, and we're gonna go over to Brandon. What do you got? Uh, Victor Zest. That is incorrect. Nick, what do you got? Joe Chill. That is correct. Oh. Philadelphia. What you got? Yep. Joe Chill. That is correct. And Ryan, what do you have? I had the Joe part right, but I had the last name wrong. Uh, all right, Jay. Go ahead and give me the next man. question. Most definitely. In animated, in Justice League Throne of Atlantis, who broadcasts Ocean Master's confession? Yeah, I, I would say I like this movie. I don't think it's the best of all the animated movies, but I definitely think it has its quality. It's not bad at all. I like it eh. the same way I yeah, like it. I wasn't a fan. Uh, it was kind of forgettable. Gods it was, and Monsters. It's, it's uh, a good... Uh, yeah. Gods and Monsters is amazing. So we're going to go ahead and say five on that. Four, three, two, one. Nick, what do you got? I said Mara because I didn't know. That is incorrect. Yeah. Philadelphia, what do you got? I'm taking a guess. I said Cyborg. Cyborg is correct. <laughs> Ryan, what do you got? Uh, I said Amanda Waller. Uh, hey guys, uh, we had slight technical difficulties. Uh, we unfortunately had to say goodbye to Brennan. Uh, he had issues with his phone. Uh, we told him to hit us up next time that we have an exhibition tournament. We'll give him a slot. Uh, so we're moving on to the next question. And the next question in DCEU in Shazam, what was the last name of Billy's foster family? I kind of like this movie. It was a fun joyride. I didn't hate this movie, and Mark Strong 
regardless of the movies that he may or may not have been in that had green animated super suits, plays an excellent villain in everything. I mean, he would have made an excellent Sinestro. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, but, but we're going to go... I mean, he would have been a better fear version of Sinestro. Five, four, three, two, wow. one. Uh, we are going to go to Bill Adelphi himself. Bill, what is the last name? I do here? not remember, so I'm guessing Ramirez. Ah, uh, close. Racist, but close. Uh, I know. I, Ryan, I, uh, yeah, Ryan, what was your answer? No idea. Rodriguez? That is incorrect. Uh, Nick, what do you got? Dude, I think I blanked. I know it's Victor and Rosa, but is it Cruz? It is Vasquez. Damn. Vasquez. Okay. All right, Jay, go ahead and hit them yeah. with that next DCEU. We're person. all in the ballpark, though. So I mean, yeah. that is that is true. That is true. not yeah. wrong. You're not that racist if you're right. almost correct. Right. So. All right, guys. In DCEU, in Ryan's favorite movie, Man of Steel. Which country was the Kryptonian scout ship found that Lois is investigating? Uh, I've never been to this country. I heard it's got beautiful, beautiful landscapes, though. I think it's I'm pretty... I'm not going to say nothing because I don't want to give the answer away. A lot of yeah. Kryptonian ships, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, they, they just dot the hills and landscape. Mm. Yes, yes, that's exactly what they do. They bring out... You know, all their wonderful magic equipment and make the area beautiful. Uh, I'm going to leave this question alone and say five, four, repeat, three. Repeat. All right. You get Ryan, a repeat. You repeat. In Man of Steel, what country was the Kryptonian scout ship found that Lois is investigating? In which country is the Kryptonian scout ship found that Lois is set to investigate? Mm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I mean, this definitely kicked off the DCEU. Uh, I the say it's very on un- the sounds of Kryptonian scout ships. They might be about five of them, I would think. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna go to Ryan first. Did that repeat pay off? Antarctica, incorrect. Yeah, you're close, but incorrect. Uh, Nick. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada is correct. Oh, uh, oh my God. Oh, I could not remember, I guess, man. Greenland. I was man. Antarctica close to that. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's Canada's Antarctic. It, that's that's closer to the North Pole than it is the South Pole, buddy. That's uh, all right. At least mine was closer to the country. I don't country. know say the Arctic geography. So I'm, not, no. I'm American, and I don't know geography. My I'm sorry, Henry system, Cavill. It's okay. <laughs> I'll rewatch your movie tomorrow. Still not the best Superman that's ever been. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Jay. Go ahead, Jay. Hit him with their next question. Or no, that this is my question. question. <laughs> yep, yep. My turn. In comics, during the event of Blackest Night, what lantern does the Flash become? Now, Jay, if you could join any lantern core, what would it be? I already have the Red Lantern tattooed on me, so like... Okay. Um, Rage? I've kind of already made my choice. You be Guy Gardner. You be Guy Gardner! Guess what? I'm joining the white. Deal with it, fuzzy. That's fine. I, I get the good kitty. I get Dexter. Fuck you. Dexter is not good! I say, there's a good about, kitty. I say there's about five other good kitties it's in good kitty. missing, especially Philadelphia's kitty. We didn't get to see it in this section, but four, three... Two, one. How perfect would that have been if your cat just jumped on screen at that point? That would have been great. Uh, going over to Nick. Nick, what do you got? I have Red Lantern, and then I heard Jay name drop it, so I assume you wouldn't say it during your banter. So I guess Blue Lantern? Blue is correct. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, I totally would do that, though. I well, that's like, that's uh, uh, Philadelphia, right. what's your answer? So funny enough, I actually have a Flash T-shirt. With the logo over top of the blue lantern of hope. That is great. And Ryan, what do you have? I'm wearing the outfit. Might as well keep the colors rolling. It's blue lantern, guys. Hey, that is correct. Queen sleep. That's shirt. what I'm talking about. I like it when I get a question that's a queen sleep. It actually makes me feel good because uh, I have a few bad feeling about this next question. Yeah, this next question is going to be a yikes for me. I can't wait to read it. And it is as follows. In animated, during the events of the death of Superman, 
who was attempting to kidnap the mayor with apocalypse tech? Oh. Yeah, that's the face I had when in testing, and I heard this question. Uh, no, okay. Um, it's still a tight game, though. It's it is a, a very game. tight game. Uh, going over scores real quick. Bill has four, Nick has four, and Ryan has three. Uh, but but check it. They could all, at least two of them, could get five points after this question. Four, three. <laughs> Two, three, one. Actually, uh, at least the one. <laughs> start with Ryan. I have no idea. Lex Luthor. That is incorrect. No, it wasn't. Uh, that is what Jay gave. Uh, uh, Nick, what is your great. answer? I just trying to go off the beaten path and say Calendar Man. <laughs> that is incorrect, but that is a great answer. Uh, Philadelphia. Uh, I almost put. Carmen Mannheim, but I wrote Inner Gang. That is correct. Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> it's Boom! correct. It was the oh, my oh, wow. oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought that was a really tough question, and it was. Yeah, and it was. Bill I just, really, like, I was Bill, not a Great that. pull, man. Bill pulled yeah. that out of his ass, I'm willing to bet. But we're going to go yes. to the world of DC. In DC, in Batman 1989. What was the name of the reporter Vicky Vales meets at the beginning of the movie? Uh, first and last names. Please. First and last names, guys. But, it's it's only one person. Reporter or reporters? Yes. Reporter. reporter. First and one last name. One person. Oh, okay, the first. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. You said reporter. Okay, got it. <laughs> Don't I forget love, you love, love repeat. this movie. Oh, okay. He said first and last. Mm -hmm. Yep. What'd you say, Jay? I'm sorry. I do oh, no, I was just too, even though the older I get, the less sense it makes. So. Absolutely, because uh, we're going to make sense, but we do have we're gonna three go left on the board if they are necessary. Four. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> three. No, you're good. Two. One. Boards down. Uh, we're going to go over to Nick. Nick, what did you have? I'm pretty sure it's Knox. Is it Gary Knox? So oh. goddamn oh. close. So oh. goddamn close. Bill, what do you got? Alexander Knox. That is correct. Ryan, what do you got? Well, I read your work. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, thanks. Can I have a grant? Alexander Knox, baby. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Ryan tied it up. This is a nail biter of a mm. match. Uh, Jay, you want to give them the last question? Yes, I will give them the ultimate question in round one. <laughs> Uh, in release dates, what was the release date for the serial films Batman and Robin? You're talking about the black and whites? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that's, different from uh, fuck you. That's, that's way different than what I was writing. Um, <laughs> I know what you were writing. That's purposely why I put this question because I'm like, I know what they're going to do. Great. <laughs> you, oh my God. What's the over under? This is before or after Superman versus the moment? Uh, I'm going to say it's uh, about. I can't give that answer away, but I will go ahead and say five. I was going to say four, you had a perfect, you had a perfect lead in three, for about five. Two, one. Uh, let's go to Philadelphia. Philadelphia, what's your answer that you got? 1946. I have no idea. So close. You have no idea. Uh, Ryan, what do you got? I went a little higher than that. 1953. That is incorrect, and you're close to uh, Nick. Did you meet him in the middle? Uh, a little bit. I picked four random numbers, even the one in the nine, so 1951. So oh, close. The dude. answer was 1949. Oh, yep. it was only four off. Okay. I knew it was the bad. 40s. I couldn't remember. All God. right, guys. All right. So at the end of that, we have Mr. Philadelphia with six points, Ryan with four points, and Nick with four points. This is literally anybody's game. And we go into the wheel round. The wheel round has four select questions picked. They gave me strengths. I wrote a couple of random questions, uh, random categories, along with their strengths. The question is, Mr. Philadelphia, do you want to go first or do you want to defer? 
I'll defer. All right. Uh, Jay, pick between <laughs> Ryan and Nick because they're tied right now. You know what? We'll go. We'll go hold Nick up, because up. Nick has more repeats left. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, we can flip a coin if, if that'd be. Uh, I was gonna say pick a number between one and ten. There you go. That's better. That's that's a better way to do things. Jay is more fair than I'll I am. I'll pick my number first since I have more repeats. Uh, there so there we go. Seven. What Ryan, what's your number that you want to pick? Uh, what what are the choices? I'm sorry. One, one to ten. ten. Oh, one to ten. What number did he say? Seven. Seven. All right, I'm gonna go with four. Oh, the number was eleven, so it is Nick. That's oh, how great. I roll. <laughs> uh, it, it was it was ten was my number. Uh, uh, oh, so is, there, is there a problem? All right, <laughs> you going you going first? Yeah. Nick? yeah. All sure. right. And the wheel's been primed, and we're ready to go. Great. Spin it. Oh, did you let them know what the categories were plus what Spinners and Opponents' Choice was? No, and that would be nice. It is Lander on Animated, uh, but it is The Flash. I'll, you know what? My bad, because I didn't do that. We'll correct it. I'll do the respin for free because I did that messed up. Well, Jay caught me on that. Uh, the categories are The Flash, Batman, Joker, Rogue's Gallery, which is Opponent's Choice, Superman, DC movies, the new 52, animated movies, and Heroes, which is Spinner's Choice. Uh, Nick, are you ready for your spin? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> DC movies. That's Would you like to take it? We're gonna get. Let's take it. All right. I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and give him his questions in DC movies. Great. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Nick, don't hate me. I love you, buddy. Uh, so, in the category DC movies, yeah. In the Return of Swamp Thing, who played Abigail Arcane? I actually might know this by here. Could I please have multiple choice? Absolutely. Uh, also, opponent, uh, the opponents, don't forget you are able to steal. Use your whiteboard. Okay. A. Sarah Douglas. B. Monique Gabrielle. C. Heather Locklear. Or D. Daniel Emery. Sarah Douglas. That is incorrect. For one point steal, your cool. options again are Sarah Douglas, Monique Gabrielle, C. Heather Locklear. Or D, Daniel Emery. <laughs> you asked me about the three DC movies I haven't seen, Doug. I'm All good. right, going <laughs> five, four, uh, yeah. three, two, one. Uh, Bill, what did you get? Heather Locklear. That is correct. Oh, and Ryan, what did you get? I almost wrote Garth. It's Heather Locklear, and she's signaling to us there is <clears throat> a God. All right. Yeah. And we're going to question two. In Superman Returns, okay. what is the name of Lois's son? Jason. That is correct for two points. Wow. Oh, great pull. That was a hell yeah. of a pull. Uh, and now here we go with Nick hating me again for another question. Please. In Supergirl, what is the name of the city that Kara Zor-El – Yikes. Lives in in the beginning <laughs> of the movie. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a free repeat because I fucked that up really bad. <laughs> in Supergirl, what is the name of the city that Kara zor lives in in the beginning of the movie? We should watch this. Um, <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't. But a. Candor. <laughs> B. Argo. C. Kryptonopolis. D. Xandar. <laughs> Okay. So, I'm just going to walk everyone through my thought process as I go through this. Kryptonopolis might be the stupidest shouting name I've ever heard. <laughs> that kind of makes it's so like different from the rest. That's where I'm leaning. But uh, Pandora is, is really would make more sense. I'll go A, Pandora. And if it's Chris, Kryptonopolis, I'm going to punch someone. Kandor is incorrect. I'm going to give you uh, your answers and then I'll give you a quick five count. Is it A, Kandor? B Argo, C Kryptonopolis, D Xandar. I laugh every time I say it. We're gonna go five, four, yeah. three, two, one. Uh, start with Ryan. Ryan, what did you get? Uh, was it B? 
Argo, the Argo is, is correct. correct. Okay. okay. Well, and Argo. Bill, what did it. you get? Argo. Thank Argo. God. Dude, we watched the extended European cut in my film class. So, and, was, hold up. Before you, before you ask him his last question, I just want it to be known. Kryptonopolis, canonically a city on Krypton. It is an actual it is city. Legit a city it's name on Krypton. <laughs> Literally all the cities that I picked up were cities that I searched for Krypton cities. I was like, I need cities. I need cities names that sound weird enough to be actual answers. <laughs> Going into your final question, your alternate yeah. question in yeah. round two. Uh, in Watchmen, what yeah. was the original organization called before? Minute, minute. That is correct for two points. Good pull. With that, he ties Bill. With that, he does tie Bill. And we're going to go ahead and ask Bill now, do you want to go or would you like to defer? You know what? I'll go. All right. Going away, you can have anything but DC movies. Right. And it lands on DC movies. Watch. <laughs> and it lands on The Flash. I'll take it. All right, go All right. with the Flash. Go ahead, Jay. You want to give him the Flash questions? I will give Philadelphia the Flash questions. Perfect. And I'll take this wheel off my screen. Billiam, are you ready for your questions in the Flash? Yes. All right. Question number one. The Jay Garrick Flash gained his superpowers through exposure to what? Hard water. Hard water is correct for two points. <laughs> Uh, which version, your question number two, which version of the Flash is considered to be the fastest? Mm, I believe that was Barry Allen. Correct again for another two. Big old points. Question number three. <laughs> Who voices the Flash in the Lego Batman movie? Oh, any other thing. I'm going to have to go multiple choice on that one. Is it A, Jonah Hill? Is it B, Todd Hansen? Is it C, Adam Devine? Or is it D, Matt Villa? I am not 100%. I'm going to guess C. C, Adam Devine is correct for a yeah. point. Yeah, that's what I had. And your final question in The Flash Complete this quote from Batman versus Superman. Bruce, listen to me right now. It's Lois, Lois Lane. She's the blank. God, I hate this movie. <laughs> she's You're welcome. Key. She's the key. Correct for two big ass points. I was I was ready to pounce on that if you missed She's it. She's the key. It's <laughs> always been her. All right. Ready to pounce, dude. So Ryan, the only ones that you can't get are DC Movie and The Flash. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Boy, that's a big spin. And it's the Joker. Oh, darn it! Almost landed on that Dark Knight. Um. You do have a respin. Mm. I love trying to sell them on the respin, Jay. It's like, it's a shiny new car. Here's, here's the thing. Two of those have already been taken off, so your possibilities of getting another respin have gone up quite a bit. I would say so. Yeah, absolutely. Also, I'm... Joker is my favorite character, so if you stick with it, I'm going to ask you those questions. <clears throat> oh, man. I, ugh. Some other categories on there. I'm not. Risk it for the biscuit. Spin it again. Hey, risking it for, for the biscuit. biscuit. Spin it. Big spin. Spin away. Spin it away. Big spin. And you get a respin oh, because it's the flash. Spin, baby. <laughs> it's like when you go to the ca casino and they give you the free originals. All right. Animated, animated, animated movies. Well, this was fun. <laughs> All right. I'll I'll go ahead and Joker. take these for you. All right. In animated movies, in Batman, Gotham Knight, what was the first segment called? No clue. Multiple choice. A, have I got a story for you? B, crossfire. C, field test. Or D, dead shot. Is it possible I can hear those options one more time? Absolutely. I can give it to you one more time. A, okay. Have I got a story for you? B, 
crossfire, C, field test, or D, dead shot? I'm going to say crossfire. That is incorrect. For a one-point steal, (laughs) uh, I'll give you your options again. Have I got a story for you? B, crossfire, C, field test, or D, dead shot? I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick five count. So five. I think the Four, question should be three. Do they have, a, do they two, have an answer for us? One. And we're going to go to Philadelphia himself. Bill, what was your answer? I think it was C. That is incorrect. Nick, Damn. what do you have? Damn, before hearing the, the choices, my original guess was Gotham Day, question mark, but my real answer was C. So it's not. It was the Have I Got a Story for You. It's Have I Got a Story for You. I thought the first one. I thought the field test was the first one. It's been years. It's a good movie, though, so if you haven't seen it, it's an actually really good movie. I haven't it. seen it, clearly. All right. All right, your second question in animated. Yeah. In Batman Bad Blood, who was under the cow while Bruce was missing? Ooh. Ooh. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. A, Dick. B, Jason. <laughs> C, Lucas. Or D, Tim. I only laughed because Ryan laughed. <laughs> uh, can, can I hear those options? I'll give it to time? you again. For I'll free. give you. I'll give you it to you one more time. I'll give you a a dick, b Jason, c Lucas, or d Tim. I'm gonna say b Jason. That is incorrect. Darn it! Your options: a dick, b Jason. C, Lucas, or D, Tim. We're going to go for a five count in five, I still four, think put the last three, there. two, one. Uh, go to Nick first. Nick, what do you got? I don't know. C, who's Lucas? That is incorrect. Lucas is Lucas is. Fox. Of course. Uh, Philadelphia, what do you got? It was Dick Grayson. It is Dick Grayson. That is Wow, correct. I thought that'd be too obvious. Darn it. Should have gone. That's why. That I was based off the uh, Grant Morrison Batman and Robin run. So All right. In Justice League Dark, what did Constantine put up in the game of poker against the Demon 3? You want multiple multiple choice? Yeah, multiple choice, yeah. A, his life. B, his plan. C, Jason Blood. Or D, his house. I'm going to say A, his life. That is incorrect. For a one-point steal... Your options are A, his life, B, his plan, C, Jason Blood, or D, his house. And we're going to go to a quick five, four, three, two, one. Philadelphia, what do you got? I think it was his house. That is correct. Nick, what do you have? What? His plan, whatever that means. What was it? His, his plan? plan? Wrong answer. I got gotcha. you. He put his house on the line? Jeez, Constantine. Because, like, because his house is like, it's his, big, his, it's filled with stuff yeah. that the dark, that the underworld would have a field day with. All right, your final question. Uh, let me see here real quick. We're still good. Uh, final question. In Reign of Superman, who is the villain? Multiple choice. Uh, A, Cyborg Superman. D, Doomsday. C, Dark Side. Or D, Lex. Cyborg Superman. That is incorrect. Great. Yeah. Yep, I can give you the answers. A, Cyborg Superman. B, Doomsday. C, Dark Side. Or D, Lex. I'm basically eliminated. And we're going to go for a five count in five. Ryan, feel free to four, share the answer. If you can three, two, <laughs> one. Nick, what do you got down? B, I like the letter. <laughs> B was the previous villain. Uh, Bill, what do you got? C. C is correct. Darkseid yeah. is the main villain. Be oh, That's wow. why they had inner gang okay. type uh, in the first movie, so they brought him kills in. Kills my boy in the first one. Might as well stick around for the <clears> sequel. <throat> All right. So we come down to the final round. Bill, you have 18 points to Nick's wow. eight points. I'm screwed. <laughs> to Ryan's six points. Yeah. So, Ryan, we're going to go ahead and take okay. you off screen for right now. And we're coming down to this. Uh, so, Bill, I need 
three numbers from you, one to twelve. One to twelve. One to twelve. Three for Bryce Harper, six for Ryan Howard, eleven for Jimmy Ross. Oh. All right, Nick, what do you got? Can't do six nine, so I'll do five nine and ten. All right, uh, Jay, do you want to give uh, Nick his five pointer or not his five, not his five pointer? Sorry, his I will, two pointer. I will give him his questions. Yes, in category five. If I miss one, it's over, right? Yes. That is correct. This is going to be a great time. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Nick, your two point question comes in the realm of quotes. Great. <laughs> Who said, no matter that it takes an eternity, you will bow down before me, both you and then one day your heirs? Who said this? Is that Zod? It is odd. God, man, it's yeah. All right. For two big-ass points, bringing your score up to 10, your second question comes in the realm of Cyborg. Okay. Your three-point question in Cyborg. In the comics, after Cyborg's mind was restored by the Technus, what name did he take on? See, I usually know this, but right now I don't know it. So I'm let me just see if I know it. Could you repeat that while I come up with something clever to say? Of course. <laughs> the clever part would be what if he comes up with the actual answer? Right. Uh, okay. Question number nine. Yeah. Your three point question. Yeah. In the comics, after Cyborg's mind was restored by the Technus. What name did he take? Ah, <laughs> uh, Casey. Casey, don't know. If you haven't noticed. I'm more of a Marvel comic reader. <laughs> I couldn't tell by the shirt. <laughs> uh, the answer, of course, is uh, Guardian. Oh. <laughs> and your winner. And, and your yeah. winner, Philadelphia Cariola. Uh, the uh, answer we were looking for was Siberian. Really? Yeah. yeah. Siberian. Are Spelled we really go weird, not like Siberia. You would be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's guys, go I ahead. Go. This was fantastic. Love you guys. Great game. Uh, can't wait to see what y'all do in round two. Uh, Nick, I will see you uh, later. And Ryan, yeah. Good game. Don't beat yourself up. I'm out. Peace. Uh, don't forget to watch uh, A, the D&D &D thing, and B, uh, Classic, which is about to drop. All right. So let's finish this up so we watch Classic, and then I can get ready for the D&D &D thing later. Anyway, uh, Ryan, I know this is where you want it to be. I know you're probably beating yourself up a little bit, but this wasn't an easy game. This uh, I told people from the get-go – these questions were going to be a little bit more harder. It's a DC exhibition tournament. It's not just DC movies or DCEU. Uh, but with that being said, I think you did a phenomenal job even in the first round going into the second round. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, not good. Uh, as you may or may not have seen my uh, video recently, I'm in a bad place and losing is certainly not uh, helping matters. But uh, I still got a good looking uh, uh, outfit. Uh, paying tribute to a great character from a great show, so that's cool. Um, yeah, this was fun, but I really uh, – the thing I'm going to beat myself up the most about this is I should have stuck with Joker. I, I feel like I definitely know a heck of a lot more about the Clown Prince of Crime than clearly I do anime movies because I didn't hear one question about Batman Mask of Phantasm or Batman Sub-Zero or Bat Batman meets Batwoman. Like, I didn't hear any of the, the, the OG 90s stuff that me as a kid grew up watching, so – that hurts, but I understand why. You want to make it more challenging. You want to make it bigger. You want to make it faster. You want to make it stronger. I get it. So, but have Thanks, at it. Congratulations to the winner, and congrats to uh, Nick for providing some good laughs and comic relief on the stream tonight. That's great. Uh, yeah, I'm not happy, but um, you know, hopefully the rest of 2019, I'll take a good long rest. May I'll be cryogenically frozen up in my Fortress of Solitude by Jor El because I know he did that numerous times on my favorite show, No Smallville. So I'm just gonna take a rest, take a vacation in Del Boca Vista. Maybe I'll come back 
stronger next year. We'll see. But thanks so, for having me, though. So, in the vein of death for Superman, he's going to go get himself better uh, and be ready for the next fight against Doomsday. Nick, uh, dude, you put up a hell of a fight. Thanks, um, you really did. Uh, I was super impressed with your knowledge. Uh, I'm really excited to see what you do down the line. If you join any of the other exhibition tournaments, at least you know what's in store. Um, so it's not just, you know, uh, yeah. But I'm excited. How do you feel about tonight? Uh, I feel fine. Um, <laughs> I There are three DC movies that I have not seen. Those three would be The Return of Swamp Thing, Supergirl, and Halle Berry's Catwoman. Uh, I'll go around to them. Just didn't feel like it. Um, or not. Or not. Yeah, I will. I will. Because I, cause I, want, I want to know how bad they are. And, and obviously, I don't really read DC Comics. Uh, Bill clearly came into this knowing more than any of us. So congratulations. Yeah. Um, I will be in the Star Wars one. I know a little bit more about that. Um, and movies are, are my thing. So as you can tell, uh, I finally unpacked. We, we might be starting a league of our own. Ooh. That's. That's the thing they say in a movie one time. That, uh, just a little bit. All right. Mr. Philadelphia himself, you are the winner of this round, and you are going on to face Kirk Kolwakowski. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, my so God. this is going to be a really barn burner. I'm super excited to see what both of you do. All right. Uh, how do you feel that you did tonight? How, how do you feel? So it's funny. It's been the insaneest week for me. Um, I've had – meetings i've had like crazy work i was at aew last night and then i had a doctor's appointment and i literally got home with like 20 minutes to set up and i was like oh my god i'm in a panic right now and then i just calmed down i think getting the first question right was just like that put me in a good spot and then just everything it was just clicking it was just like a lot of the i've watched almost every one of the animated movies like four times so like that was nice. like really in my wheelhouse Getting my strength on the flash and the wheel was a was a huge, and then just managing to rack up like as many steals as I could. I think it just like ultimately it was just it was just a lot of good luck. So absolutely, uh, yeah. absolutely. All right, guys. So this has been the last of the bracket beginners. Uh, how do you guys think uh, it's going so far? I think it's going pretty well. I hope you enjoy watching it. Uh, from myself. From Jay, from Mr. Philadelphia, from Ryan, from Nick, and from Brennan, who had to bail out earlier. Uh, it's been great. Have a great rest of your night.